do you think chess will ever get solved from the uh, opening position to where we'll know the optimal, optimal level of play? I highly doubt it. Um, without major advances in quantum computing, I don't think it's realistic to expect chess to be hard solved. I just, I don't think that will happen. Yeah. Um, but I, I don't know. It could happen 20, 30 years maybe, but I, I think in the near future, it's not not realistic. Well, then let's go up with a podhead follow-up question. Suppose it does get solved. What opening do you think will be the optimal? Well, everything will be a draw for sure. After move for one. sure. After move one, yes. For absolutely. sure. You're absolutely sure of that. Yes. Yes. That's what. Well, why are you so sure? I'm so sure because when you look at the computer games and you see these decisive results, it's because they play the openings are set generally. They can't. They can't for move one. They play set openings. Like you might play the knight, or you might play the Berlin defense. Normally, it's set openings mm -hmm. as opposed to. Um, as opposed to computers being able to do whatever they want. I just believe in general, in the openings that are symmetrical, like E4, E5, D4, D5, uh, the computers will draw. And I think the optimal opening, I think E4, E5, Knight F3, Knight F6 is probably a guaranteed draw. If there is perfect, if we have perfect information and we know that that chess is solved, E4, E5, Knight F3, Knight F6, the uh, Russian or the Petrov defense, that that will be the optimal strategy. See, I'm so that's sure of that. Symmetrical play mm -hmm. is going to lead to a draw. But what if you can constantly, as white, maintain asymmetry, constantly keep the opponent off balance? So yes, e four. Then then you're you're always doing this symmetry. But what if chess inherently? There's something about the mathematics of the game mm -hmm. that allows for like that thin line that you walk that maintains to the end game, the asymmetry constantly, that there's no move that can uh, bring bring back the balance of the game. You know, yeah, I, I you don't just, think that exists? I don't think it does. So basically I'm saying E4, E5, I think is a draw. I think D4, D5 is a draw. C4, C5, I think I think basically it's symmetry. That's- All of it's a draw. I okay. think that's that's why it's a draw. So it doesn't even matter. Like the, you're saying what, what, if it's solved, most openings will be a draw. Yes, I think e4, d4, c4, and knight f3 for sure will be a draw. Other openings, I'm not sure about. But those first four uh, possible starting moves, I think chess is a draw. Knight f3. What's the response to knight f3? Um, Probably <laughs> knight f6 again. Or, <laughs> to, to make it simple, if I play knight f3 on move one, um, black here can also play d5. I'll move one. And normally at some point, white's going to end up playing D4. So the order of... <laughs> so it's probably going to lead back. Yeah, all, all roads kind of lead back there as well. There probably are other ways which um, where there there is play, but I think that's, at the end of the day, the symmetry is symmetry is what's going to lead lead to like a forced, forced equality or, or draw in the game of chess. 